What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. So guys, check this out. I got a local pastor that gave me a call and stated that he's relocating his church. So in the current location, he has this custom altar that he's built. He needs to remove any custom build configurations that he set up in that location. And if he doesn't remove any type of custom build configuration that wasn't there before, he can be built a lot of money, which also includes cleanup. So you gotta have the place nice and clean. I can go into more details, but I don't wanna have the customer waiting for us. So let me get down here to the customer's location so that way we can get started for this particular junk removal project. Wait a minute, before we actually go, if you are not a subscriber to my Priority Hauling Junk Removal YouTube channel, please be kind to hit the subscribe button and definitely don't forget to hit the notification button so that way you can get an alert for the next time I drop my video content which also brings up to my day one subscribers man oh man oh man recently just started this YouTube channel I want to say between June and July of year 2022 and like already I went from zero subscribers to what we're at what 70 subscribers right now which is just crazy crazy and we already hit over over 3,000 that viewed the channel i'm telling you the, the, the numbers are constantly going up it's constantly going up it's crazy so everyone that's watching my videos and who are not subscribed to my channel i appreciate your support watching my videos i truly do but most importantly to my day one subscribers man i love y'all <laughs> i love y'all but enough rambling <laughs> We got to go because we got a customer waiting. And I do not like when my customers are waiting for me. Holla at y'all later. All right, so got the job going on for business over here. What I'm going to do is get this thing loaded. This is the, uh, the business. Let me just go ahead and get everything in the situation. And I'll be back. I seriously need to get a uh, new phone because I don't have that much storage on my phone, but uh, half of it, uh, I'm betting it's probably going to be up to here once I get done. But uh, good thing I got those couches off of, off of here because they got a lot of wood. Um, let me see. Yeah, I can probably see if I can move this thing up. Let's see how much space do I got in here. Ooh, yeah, I might be able to move this thing up some. Trying to get this load off real quick because I gotta hurry up. Take up the rest of the stuff. So, in total, three trips to the landfill. Where she's at. Chairs down. All right, everything's ready to come down. Uh, straighten up these wheels. That's a big boy right there. Head down the road for this next load. Put 
apologize for the delay of recording. Been extremely busy. Had a little, little, little accident real quick, but we good, we good. So I'll show you Get these boards. Gotta come back. This is gonna be the second load right here. That, that, and this. We got the big stuff. So let's take some of the stuff and throw it in the middle. Come back and uh, do our second load. So that's that. All right, guys, so this is the second load. As you can see, we got a desk, cabinets, uh, a shelf. Actually, that's pretty, pretty cool if somebody had like a business, like a school, because it looks like it's got a little thing you could put like kids, book bags, coats. Man, that's actually perfect. But it's all gone. Got a nice office chair. Show you guys inside the progress that's been made. So, got the stage up. Just a box here. Just a small trash, but uh, majority of the stuff is gone. Anything else? No. All right, that's it. Cool. Progress. On my way to the landfill, I'm gonna drop the stuff off and uh, you know get the trailer and truck ready for the next jobs. I have a tree job that's pending, so I'm just waiting for the actual homeowner. And then after that, uh, also this week, I have a uh, crash haul job for wine festival going on, and they hired me to uh, basically uh, do their trash. Uh, so, enough of me chit chatting. I'll get with you guys when I uh, get to the landfill. On our way. Take the weight of the truck and trailer to compare it, you know, before and after. So we're getting ready to drive up on this. It's called a floating scale. It actually floats and it scales your weight. All right. Go ahead, put my seatbelt back on. Look at that classic uh, Caprice over there, the station wagon. That's nice. I like this. You know, one day I, uh, I eventually want to get myself a, a American Muscle, you know, vehicle. You know, something to just cruise and relax. I'm not really into, uh, you know, the hardcore to engine, transmission, yeah, I'm not really into that. I'm, I'm more so into, you know, if I can have a little bit of power and some reliability, that's what I'm into. A little bit of power, reliability, so that way after I have a, you know, a hard day at work, well, I wouldn't say hard day at work, but you know, an extremely busy day at work, I could be able to, you know, hop in this car or hop in, you know, hop in my project car and just cruise around. You know? That's believe you guys will be the first to see, you know, first to see that project, but you know, that's just me. Wishful thinking. You always got to keep hope alive and, and, you know, make a goal. My, my goal, I'm not saying my goal is to have a muscle car but my goal is to my, my ultimate goal is is to be able to uh, 
grow my business, scale it up so that way I can, you know, be able to just work for myself and provide for my family. That's my ultimate goal. All I want to do is work for myself and provide for my family and also, uh, you know, create create opportunities for family and friends to be able to, you know, come to me for work. So that's the ultimate goal. I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to save some video footage so that way you guys can, you know, see the process of me dumping the stuff off the trailer. But I, I definitely also need to make some time to clear up my phone because my phone... I got an iPhone XR. Yes, my background is in IT and I'm a techie guy, but I'm not really into purchasing the latest tech gadgets as they come out, you know. I gotta have a serious logical reason for me to upgrade my cell phone, okay? So I've been fighting with low storage space on my cell phone for, for, for a while. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna see if I can make some time to clear some space. What I honestly also need to do is if I'm going to continue this route of recording jobs, it will be much more simplified to have a GoPro. So that way I could just pop, you know, put the GoPro on my chest, turn it on, do the work. And that way you guys can actually see me do the work. The beautiful thing about, you know, being able to work for yourself is that you can pick and choose the type of work that you want to do and how much work that you want, you know, and how much pay. That's another thing. You have control over your pay, so that's the, that's the most beneficial thing. Pay and time. You have control of pay, and you have control of your time. That's the thing I love about having your own business. But it takes time to grow a business. So persistence and dedication to yourself and to your business, it's going to pay off eventually. It's going to pay off eventually. You know, it's the process of learning, the process of gaining that experience and that exposure for your business. So keep grinding. Just say I wanted to show you guys what's on the back. Well, you guys can kind of see. have seen the glory let me take it out of toho this toho will make it uh clamp down on stuff all right let's see if we got them Be good to go, but uh, ooh, it's dusty, and this is not the good dust you want to breathe. Trust me. Uh, definitely uh, be sure to budget for uh, a dump trailer. There you go, you got it in action, baby. Action pack. All right, let's roll. All right, we gotta clear this stuff. Just want to watch out for this concrete here and inch her out. 
Let me get this phone set back up. see how much the damage is as far as the, uh, the dump fee is concerned. That's what we got to do. We got to find out exactly how much that damage is going to be the dump fee because it's not free. A lot of people, you know, they, they think that like junk removal services is, is, is a free service. It's not. It's, it's really not because we have to pay to uh, dump people's uh, stuff. And that's not even going through the expense of, uh, of you know, operation in general. Gas, maintenance, um, labor costs, because uh, not all jobs you can do yourself. Some jobs you definitely need somebody to help you out. Yeah, it's, it's a job. It's definitely a job. It's a job that I love to do, though. I must say, it's a job that I love to do. Whew. Man, oh man. What a day. What a day. Ugh. I tell you, it's been a crazy day today. Whew. That job. That was, that, was a, uh, that was a pretty fun job. Pretty fun job to uh, get some demolition in. I love it. I love it. I miss it. I can't wait to do more of it. I truly cannot wait to do more of it. When I was young, between seven and nine years old, uh, my grandfather, he used to own, I want to say roughly 10 houses in Baltimore City in his neighborhood, in his neighborhood. Each and every time there will be a house you know, unfortunately burned down. What he'll do is he'll reach out to the city and buy it for a super low price. Super low price. I'm trying to tell you. Um, if I'm not mistaken, he told me back then that he was buying houses for, I want to say, no lie, nine or 10000 At that time, the city was like, look, we got too many houses in this situation where there was a fire and the homeowner may not have insurance or the homeowner was just like, you know what, just let it go. And just walked away and moved on, which left it on their books. So the city was just like, hey, take it off our hands. And sure enough, me and my grandfather, we would go to that city house. And it would be vacant and burnt down, pitch black, because there's no electricity that's, you know, Fiji had to cut the electricity because of the fire. The first thing we, my grandfather would do is... <laughs> No lie. No lie. Again, these are houses in his neighborhood, okay? No lie. He would grab a 50-foot extension cable, okay? Run it to the back of the city house. Run it to the back of the alley. All the way up to the house. He would basically then inside plug in uh, lights so that way we can see. <laughs> no lie and this is like during the actual daytime so we also got windows open to let sunlight in so yeah we would knock stuff down toss it in the alley he would then load it up on to his truck and trailer and then take it to uh, the landfill that be I'm telling you those are the days man that's also where how I learned how to do sheet rock especially over here Goodness gracious. You know I'm <laughs> uh, spackling. I'm not just saying. I learned the majority of the carpentry from my grandfather. I learned it from my father. I learned it from my uncles. And my grandfathers. It was a lot of male role models. And male masculinity around. I first learned how to work with my hands. Then eventually I learned how to use my brain. And what I mean by that is that those that actually know me, they know that my actual education background in professional skill is being an information technology professional. 
desktop servers, network, and applications. So, not trying to drag out this video, and I'm definitely not trying to hold up your time, but if you still are watching this video, I truly appreciate you sticking in. Just, matter of fact, if you watch this video all the way to the end, dro drop a comment of a childhood memory that you recall that has helped you develop you know, your personal skills, your working skills, something that has helped lead to your success in finding a career. Like, you know, drop a comment. Whatever. But alright guys, I got to roll, and I know you do too. I appreciate everyone stopping by my channel to watch my videos, and definitely appreciate your support to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope that you all have a wonderful, successful day. Take it easy. Peace.